Hello, Jay plays here, and I don't think that Mario Kart 9 will be announced at E3 this year. But that's not what this video is about. It's about what I think Mario Kart 9 should and should not take from Mario Kart Tour. I won't bring up anything that has to do with microtransactions because it's obvious that no one wants those in the next Mario Kart. So let's start off with the track variants. So I definitely want the reverse tracks to return because I find it really cool to see how the backwards versions of the tracks change how the track is played. But with the T variants, I like them in Mario Kart Tour, but they should stay in Mario Kart Tour. You know those ramps in some tracks that turn sharply and have a billion jump boots? Well, imagine if you had to control it with a controller. That would equal a nightmare. But I do think that all of the bonus challenges should return for the exception, with the exception of time trials, because that should stay as its own mode. Another thing I want to be brought back into Mario Kart 9 is that amazing character roster. I'm not even going to explain this one. One thing I don't want brought back in Mario Kart 9 though is some of the horrible special items like for example, I don't want Funky Kong to get the banana barrels once again because that item makes it so hard to dodge your bananas and you usually end up sabotaging yourself. And with the mushroom cannon, you can help your opponent. Same with the dash ring. So hopefully those three items don't come back in the next Mario Kart game. But I do hope costumes return in the next Mario Kart game. And once again, I don't even need to explain this one. So the last thing that should not return is the third item slot. I say this because it removes a lot of strategy when it comes to items. Now that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Never mind. One more thing. So the last thing that should not return Mario Kart 9 is pink, gold, peach. 